Uh, this is Joe Helms from the Rivers Edge United Methodist Church, Spring Bay, and we're at our April 24th uh, pantry pass out. So far we've had uh, about uh, 25, 28 folks with a couple of deliveries already. We have a few more. Uh, the rain hopefully will hold off uh, for another couple of hours, but uh, we're having everybody pull up. No uh, numbers, no anything. They get their orders and away they go. So we're limiting contact as best we can. Nobody's getting out of their car. Um, last month in March, we did home deliveries. We did some pass outs through the Bayview Village Hall and I want to thank those guys tremendously for allowing us to use their facility. But we reached a record 93 families which is tops for us even at Thanksgiving and Christmas. So uh, we have product available so far. It, uh, we'll see how our distribution centers go for us, but uh, we're able to put out a, a three or four boxes for each family. Uh, we're anybody in uh, the Metamora High School District and Woodford County. The, uh, we've been doing this, gosh, I don't know how many years ago, Reverend Merritt and John Scher and Don and Rose Sandage and Virginia Churchill and Harold Doty and Warren Celine were big in getting this started and it's just an honor in their memory to keep this going. And uh, so far, you know, we're all staying healthy. We're uh, limiting, you know, our number of folks inside the building so that we can continue this uh, safety measure. and. Uh, so far, we're doing good and uh, staying healthy and I uh, hope you all are doing the same. Uh, we appreciate your uh, thoughts and prayers and masks that we've been given. And uh, just everything is going great. It couldn't be better. Well, of course, it could be sunshine and not have this COVID, but uh, it, we're dealing with it. God willing, we'll uh, keep dealing with it until the time has come that we can all get together and have a big old hallelujah and, and some hugs all around and maybe uh, we could be talked into smoking a couple of briskets and having a good old party when this breaks. So uh, continue your prayers if you would. They're greatly appreciated. You never have too many. And uh, we just thank you for your support and all that you've done for us. And uh, we're going to continue on. Thanks a lot. Till next time. Love you all. Mwah. Bye. <laughs> This is Roxanne. I work at the Spring Bay Food Pantry. Uh, we have been working, oh, probably for the last week. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, we moved a lot of stuff from Bayview Village Hall um, down here. Um, probably at least three to four hours every day um, filling boxes for at least almost a hundred families um, stocking shelves um, and uh, moving stuff and filling freezers cleaning freezers tearing down boxes um, getting stuff ready, um, filling the trailer, so that way people can have plenty of stuff. Um, also, uh, making sure that families and children don't go without food and being able to stay, um, cor you know, separated. Okay, I've been taking everybody's names down and checking them off. The ones that have come so far, we've gotten 32 or a few more than that, about 35, um, come through the line here. We just had them come up. I take their names and everything, how many are in their car, how many that they're picking up for, because some to pick up for two or three people at the same time. And then uh, tell the people how much they need to put it into the, their back end of their cars and their trucks or whatever they brought. We even had one guy come through with a cart and uh, pulled by his bicycle so he came so he could get his food today and that was kind of neat. Uh, so far, like I said, we've had about 32 or a little bit above that. 
Um, we're waiting for some more to come because we know that we always have the last timers that forget about it until the last minute. So as soon as they come and then we can uh, get the rest of it all put back together again and that and we start over for the next month then. So we'll have the same thing probably next month because of the going till the 30th of May then. So uh, that's about what we do. I also helped with all the stuff downstairs all week. Uh, putting boxes together, putting uh, food products up in the st shelves, stocking shelves, and anything else that we could find that needed to be done downstairs. Cleaning up and, and um, just getting everything so that for the next month then we can have it all set up and everything. And then we'll start over at the end of, of May again and do the same thing.